climbing up one of the most iconic corners in North American sports car racing here at Laguna Seca, right here at the Corkscrew. So the GT Le Mans teams are very intently focused on winning this race, but as well starting to shift the focus to six weeks from now when we start to move towards the 24 hour of Le Mans. So in this, there are two things at stake the win at Laguna Seca and the final prep before the most iconic sports car race in the world in six weeks. I've been dreaming of driving this track for years. I'd always hope to have a little more horsepower, but at least I'm on Michelin's. Uh, obviously, the, the concentration is just on the race today. We are uh, to do the best result today. Uh, here we are quite optimistic and comfortable with the new Michelin tires. Uh, um, which is going to be the same compound of uh, Le Mans. Le Mans is going to be the biggest race of the season for us. Rizzi team is coming back after a few years, so we're looking forward for it. Uh, it's a very important race for us. We hope to get on the podium today and then we will do our best and uh, max maximum concentration for Le Mans. Wow, I mean, what a result. It's, uh, you know, thinking back where we were three or four months ago, 30 laps down in Daytona, and then three races later, we're, you know, standing on victory lane. It's uh, incredible and something that everyone on this program really deserves the hard effort they put in. And uh, yeah, it was a great race, great weekend, working with Ryan as ever. Next race is Le Mans and uh, coming off a win to head overseas is, is huge. It was good to get a taste of the tyre we'll be racing within Le Mans this weekend. Uh, it was introduced for us here and uh, it seemed to suit our car, so it's promising. But uh, conditions are extremely different over there, we'll just have to keep working hard. But uh, we'll take this win and try to carry that momentum.